So here we are with the Thunderpole T3000, this very kind of uh, not very deep set, propped up on our camera remote control. Let's see if Mr Chippy's in the driveway. So we're on UK Channel 31's uh, FM of course, which is in the UK. Tango 21, Mr Chippy, you're receiving over. Well, you never know. Right, we are recording now, so if you'd like to move off. So the plan is to go to the usual place, uh, six and a half miles, seven miles away. And because this radio will go not, not just to CPT channels, but will do AM as well as FM, which we're now licensed to do in this country since 2014 on CE approved new radios that is something we will do now CPT never works for us and AM certainly doesn't work for us having got RAF Cranwell four miles away and RAF Barkston Heath about two miles away with their ground radars so we will see how it works out Tango 21, loud and clear. And this is through the front, uh, front mounted loudspeaker. We always do the tests on the radio's internal speakers. Just passing Ancaster services. Yes, Roger, on that loud and clear. When we go and change to AMCPT, um, I'm going to be using channel 40, so it's, it's uh, nearer this end of the band. Over. Yeah, Roger, that's fine. And the reason I've just said that to Mr Chippy is that we tune these radios for channel 20 on the 2781 UK system. So what I don't want to do is to... Roger on that, that the crossroads. What I don't want to do is to go to say channel 1 where we haven't optimised it uh, on, on the CPT band. That's Tango 21 loud and clear. So we're going to drop down to the village of Willsford, and this is what we call Scratchy Corner, as it goes round the uh, the road goes round to the left, right in the dip. So the radio signal from here, we're in kind of one valley. He's now at the top of the hill. He's dropping down into the uh, following valley, and that's why we do this on this particular route. It's no no test if we drove 35 miles towards Nottingham because we just know it would work for 35 miles. So we have to make sure that we're using the worst possible direction. And when we compare all the radios in exactly the same way, with the same setup and the same car and the same aerial, uh, we can tell the difference from one radio to another. Okay, I'm receiving you with some scratchiness at Scratchy Corner, and I'm still using Auto Squelch. So the next call in will be from the level crossing as he goes out of Willsford and that's cut into the rock so he's going to not only be in the valley he's also going to be um, his, the signal was blocked by the rock face. For those of you interested in current consumption I can see at 13.6 volts the radio is being, uh, is drawing 230 milliamps. Got you at Willsford level crossing. And that rose to 250 milliamps with, uh, with receiving then. 
next time I key up I'll tell you what it draws on transmit. I get some of these questions from people wanting to run these things on batteries. Okay, Roger on that, thank you. I'm still working on auto squelch. So it's now about five miles away. And I say wrong side of the hill in the wrong direction for us. Roger, I've got you at Grayley's, that's uh, quite good over. So we'll call in one final time, and that's at the Rossby level crossing. Okay, that's fine, thank you. So as you loop around, whatever you're going to do, switch to CPT, AM, and give me a call on channel 40, please. Over. Yeah. So we'll switch this now to CPT, it's now in FM and now we're going to select AM. Now I've still kept it in auto squelch, but I'll be looking at the signal meter, oh channel 40. Tango 21, I am receiving you, that's fine, over. Tango 21, that's fine, over. Oh, you remember this time, turning for Kelby, loud and clear. So that was his five mile point. Crossing Wilsford level crossing, over. Yep, Wilsford level crossing. The speech processing on that Midland uh, you're using is excellent. No, negative. We did a bit with the President Grant with uh, with Mark ZX2, uh, and then we tested it with SSB, but it wasn't a good day uh, with radar interference, etc. So uh, it didn't work as well as this over. Yeah, well, sounds great to be honest. So the next call will be Scratchy Corner, so that's going to be interesting in AM. Well, believe it or not, Scratchy Corner's better on AM than it was on FM, over. <laughs> yeah, it just loses a bit of volume, but that's about it. Yep, roger. Well, that's an eye-opener. <laughs> That's loud and clear. Tango 21, Mr Chippy, back at uh, Ancaster Crossroads, over. Okay, that's loud and clear. It'll be interesting as you go past the petrol station what your interference level on your receive is, because as you know, it normally opens a squelch uh, when we are using UK FM. 
should say that because it didn't on the way out. Oh, they had new equipment there. They had a big revamp. Excellent. Well, you are. Something's improved there. But it's changed hands recently, as you know, and it's been revamped to some extent. So we'll just have one more call off him as he comes down the lane, and he's just half a mile away. There's no point to talking to him in the car park here. Right, I'm uh, back on the lane now. Right, I'll see you in Tango Towers. Don't forget to switch your radio back to UK, otherwise you will be stuck. Tango 21 out. Well there we go, Thunderpole T3000, uh, that was excellent wasn't it? And that uh, AM CPT worked a lot better than I thought it was going to do. Uh, we've had um, quite a poor show on CPT, it must be subject to weather conditions and the amount of users, um, especially the ones uh, with illegal high power and things like that in other countries. So yeah, that's that worked great. So what can I say? The radio's got the right features, and technically works superbly. And the air test is fine. So there you go. I think what was it? Ninety nine pounds ninety five, something like that, delivered. So it certainly isn't free, but it isn't hyper expensive. So uh, although I love old radios, I can't fault it. So thanks for watching Thunderbolt T three thousand.